Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another food shopping haul. So this week I've been to Tesco and it is a pretty big haul, mainly because last week I basically shopped in Sainsbury's and everything I bought was for our camping trip that weekend. So I didn't actually stock up on anything we needed for in the house. So I'll take through everything I've bought and then I'll let you know what I spent at the end. It was quite a lot, but I did buy a few non-essential items as well. So to start off over here, I got a cauliflower. I'm absolutely loving marinating cauliflower in like barbecue sauce or puri puri sauce, tandoori seasoning, roasting it in the oven and having it in wraps. If you watch my meals of the week, then you will see that we have that quite often or any roasted veg in wraps. I'm just really liking it at the moment. Um, and this was only 47p and it's quite a big one as well. I got some carrots. These are on the club card deal for 19p. Some British leeks. These are also on the club card deal. They were 47p. So I got two packs of those. Some British all-rounder potatoes, two and a half kilos or 89p. Some sugar bell tomatoes, they were £1.20. I just find that the vine ripened seem to be a lot sweeter at the moment. I got some perfectly imperfect apples. These were 60 something p I think, and I picked out the best bag. I also got some of the Rose Dean Farm Braeburn apples. I think these are 95p, but it's still a really good price for six apples. I got a large butternut squash, which was £1.5. I'm going to be doing a tandoori chicken and butternut salad with a yoghurt and mint dressing. One of my favourites, and I haven't had it for ages, so I thought I'd try that this week. Close cut mushrooms. I got an iceberg lettuce, two cucumber, some grapes. These are £1.6p. Some bananas. And I think that is it for the fresh fruit and veg. I got some straight cut chips and some french fries, purely just to change things up a bit. I've got two different recipes, not recipes, but two different meals. And one of them I specifically wanted to recreate like a takeaway. So got those. I also got some frozen tender stem broccoli. I absolutely love this. It is a pound, you can't see. It's a pound and obviously it's frozen, it keeps in the freezer. It's got such a nice flavour and it saves you wasting broccoli if you put it in the fridge and don't use it. So for a pound I always pick up a couple of those. I also got some florets which were 47p, so the price of these has really dropped. Because um, I remember these were about 99p last time I bought them. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be making a massive chicken and broccoli stew, which is one of my favourites, and I haven't done it for a really long time, so I'm going to be doing that. I've got some sea salt for our grinder. Let me know if anybody knows where to buy, like, salt crystals for a really good price. I'd really appreciate if you let me know, because, I mean, these are a pound, so it wasn't bad, but I know that somewhere you'll be able to get a massive bag of them, but I'm just not sure where to look. So if anybody has any ideas, I'd be grateful if you could leave it in the comments down below and let me know where to buy salt. I do like the pink Himalayan one as well. Uh, stuffing, which is what I put in my chicken stew to thicken it and flavour it. Some vinegar, mint sauce, tandoori curry powder that I also mix with yoghurt to make a marinade. I got some ketchup, some lighter than light mayo and some 50% less fat salad cream. We were just out of all this kind of stuff. I got some minestrone soup, like cup of soup with croutons and also some sweet and spicy cup of soup. Sometimes my husband takes these to work. I also got soup wise, I'm going to have a soup week, aren't I? I um, bought some of these plant chef smoky lentil and red pepper and a tomato chickpea and aubergine soup. I thought they sounded quite nice and they were only 50p each and they didn't have my usual lentil and bacon one I like, so I got those. I also got two lots of pasta. This is 70p for 500 grams. I got a spiral one and a rigatoni. I did get another option, salted caramel. I really like this and I had to pay four pound the other day because I was out and I needed one. And it's on offer in Tesco's at two pounds. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy one even though I've got a new one in the cupboard because <laughs> If I don't, it'll go back up and I'll be angry all over again. Some 0% fat Greek yoghurt to go with salads and as dressings and things and also marinades. And I mix this with mint sauce to put over my tandoori chicken. I've got two lots of fridge raiders. These are £2 for six mini bags. Two lots of mini pepperamis. These are £2 and you get 10, so I've got two of those. Some wafer thin chicken slices for sandwiches. I also got some pepperoni and some of this German smoked ham. This was a really good price. It was £1.25, so I thought we'd try that for sandwiches as well. Got some cheese strings, which are £2.19 for eight. Some baby bells, which I think are £2.19 for 12. 
Some of the lightest Philadelphia, I'm going to be making a couple of meals. One of them is a Tuscan chicken. Instead of using cream, I'm going to try and use cream cheese. And I don't know what the other one is, but oh, yeah, it will come to me at some point. Oh, I might do a chicken breast wrapped in bacon stuffed with Philadelphia and I could mix garlic and herbs with it. I've got some laughing cow light cheese triangles, some cheese slices for some zinger, like KFC style zinger burgers I'm making. Some of these light and free yogurts, these were £1.25 for four and these ones sound really nice, they're sticky toffee flavour and then the bottom ones are white chocolate flavour, I just thought they sounded really good and they're only 59 calories each so that was quite good. Bread wires were pretty much completely out so I got one pack of wraps, I did want the carb light ones but they didn't have any so I got some wraps, brioche buns for the zingers, I got some white finger rolls for the bratwurst sausages that are hidden, I'll show you those in a minute, and some both together bread. I also got our usual pan of chocolat, some crumpets which are 37p for nine, and then they're hiding down here along with the cheese that I didn't show you either. I got six bratwurst sausages, I think these were £2.50, and I'm gonna do the boys like bratwurst in buns for their dinner tonight, and then I might do them some like fried onions or something. And then I got some extra mature cheddar. This was 700 grams for £3.50, which worked out a really, really good price. So I got that. Over here, I got some of the Molly's um, milk chocolate digestive bars and the chewy caramel wafer biscuits. This is like Tesco's own make. And you get 18 of these, and I think they're like £1.20. And the Molly's are like 85p or something. They're just nice to have in the cupboard for when the boys get in from school or something and want a snack. I got some boost bars, these were four for a pound. And I'm gonna say it because I say it every time, but look how small they are. I mean, these little Miss Molly bars are tiny. I don't actually think the boosts are very much taller than them at all. I remember when boosts used to be a lot bigger. So anyway, four for a pound's not too bad. Some salted caramel munch bars and some frosty bars. These are both a pound. Some Law Espresso pods for our uh, Nespresso machine. These were £5 for 20 which is quite a good price, and they're the aluminium ones, which I think work better. I've got some forest fruit crispy slices, the yoghurt topped ones. These are 90p. Free range eggs, some Vimto narrow added sugar because I refuse to buy the quadruple strength squash because I just mess it up every time and I can't be bothered to make it up and put it in the fridge. So I just don't have the space. My fridge is not big enough for that. So bought Vimto because it's simpler to make. I got some french fries, things like crisps and cereal bars have really gone up. I mean these were 2 50 for 12 which is not a huge amount more but they don't do offers on crisps at the moment very much at all. Um, you really notice it when you shop in the same place a lot. It's the same as cereal bars and things, they really didn't have many offers on at the moment. So the french fries are £2.50 for 12 I got some Seabrook crisps which were £1.15 for six bags. Knickknacks we always like and they were six bags for a pound. So you can get the reasonable priced things but then just not doing the offers like they used to. Hot chilli tortillas are to crush up and put on the chicken breasts to make zinger burgers. I've got some salt and vinegar rice cakes and some corn thins just to have the light cheese triangles on for lunches. Now I think this is what bumped up my shopping. I got two single raised air beds with pumps. So when we went away in our van this weekend, we actually towed our trailer tent bedroom section with us, which was a really good idea because that literally folds out into two double bedrooms and there's no setup required. It literally just opens up, you put the legs down and you've pretty much got two double bedrooms. But we also have a big air beam awning and when we want to take that away because we want somewhere to sit inside of an evening all together or if we're going to stay somewhere like in one place for a bit longer then the older two boys have a bedroom each in there so basically I bought them a single air bed each with a pump because they both got air beds but I think they've seen better days so they needed new ones one of them was from years ago when I went camping and one of them me and Steve bought to stay at a friend's house ages ago so I bought these, so if anyone's looking for any, that was, I always really explain things in a really roundabout way, don't I? So 
If anyone's looking for any camping stuff, Tesco's got really good deals on. These should have been £30 and they were £23. They had the, no, these should have been £35 and they were £23. They had the double ones for £30. And they also had sofas and blow up chairs with footstools. If anyone does have a camper van or a tent or anything and needs anything, I would definitely look in Tesco's this weekend. So I got two of these, that was £46 of my bill. If you are interested, I did film a lot of our weekend in Wales. Um, we did some really fun activities and it was a great trip. So I will be putting a vlog up at some point in the near future. So if you're interested in that, it will be coming. I got a Tesco fabric conditioner. I got a Fairy Non Bio. This was £5.50, which didn't seem too bad. Deodorant for Steve. Some toothpaste. Some luxury coconut oil toilet roll. I think there's nine and they were £3.50. And I also got some gravy bites for the dogs. So my shopping originally came to, I think it was, well, it was the £200 mark, definitely. It was over £200. And when I scanned my club card, it dropped to under 160 So it was like 158 or something, which I think is a really good price considering I was completely out of everything. I've done a full top-up shop and I've also bought two airbeds that came to almost £50. So not too bad really so meal wise this week we're going to be having a butternut squash and tandoori chicken salad and sometimes i'll put roast leeks and mushrooms in that too and make like a warm salad and then we'll use a mint and yogurt dressing on that the boys are going to have the bratwurst sausages in the buns for tonight's dinner because it's friday oh and i've got a pizza i'll show you this pizza now so I got this pizza from Lidl. We've already cooked one of them. The boys had one. They do different flavours. But this one is a spicy Nguya style pepperoni sausage with mozzarella. And it's a long matured dough. It's a crispy crust. They are so nice. The boys absolutely loved it. Quite spicy. But half a pizza is just over 500 calories. So if you wanted that between like two of you with some salad or something it makes a really nice meal. Um, and I just thought I'd show you because they've got, I think they do a margarita and... I'm not sure, maybe a pepperoni, but this one is Nguya sausage, which we absolutely love. So I just thought I'd show you that as well. And they're cheap as well. They're like less than two pound. I'm also going to be doing the KFC Zinger Burgers with fries over the weekend. I'm going to be doing a Tuscan chicken, probably in the slow cooker, using pasta, some tomatoes, chicken stock, and the lightest Philadelphia and some garlic. So those are the meals I can think of off the top of my head. We'll probably also have jacket potatoes at some point as well. So if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I do recipes, food hauls and the occasional vlog. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you stick around. And I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.